Okay, so in this problem, we're told a swimmer is capable of swimming 0.6 meters per second in still water. A, if she aims her body directly across a 55 meter wide river whose current is 0.5 meters per second, how far downstream from a point opposite her starting point will she land? And B, how long will it take her to reach the other side? So as always, you want to draw what's going on. So we have the swimmer and they're going to be traveling across this river here which is 55 meters wide, so this way. Uh, we also know that the current is going to be traveling 0.5 meters per second, basically this way. And so we're going to be trying to find two things. The time it takes for her to reach the other side, so the amount of time it's going to take for her to go from here to there. So basically, she's going to travel something like this, uh, and we're trying to find that time. And then we also want to find uh, the distance she travels in the X. So relative to this starting point so if you imagine it like this she's going to travel some distance like this uh, and we want to find what that is i'll call it delta x so uh, in order to do this i think it's easier to actually start with b so uh, we're going to start with b here so b is how long will it take her to reach the other side so uh, we want to basically find uh, this time right so how long it takes for her to get there uh, the way we're going to do it is by using this formula here. Distance equals velocity times time. So if we know the distance she's traveling and uh, the speed she's going at, we can find the time, right? Just dividing the distance by the uh, velocity. So first off, what is the distance she's going to be traveling from here to there? Well, we know it's 55 meters long. Therefore, the distance for her to reach the other side is 55 meters. Next is, what is her velocity in this direction? So they kind of trick you up here. Uh, the river is moving at 0.5 meters per second, but it doesn't actually affect her velocity in the direction of the travel. And that's all that actually matters. Uh, you can imagine all this is going to do is make her move this way a bit, but she's still traveling at the same speed across this way. So really, her speed, uh, you can just imagine is it she's just running across here at 0.6 meters per second in this distance. So this is kind of a little trick, but... Uh, if you know that it's, you only have to take into account uh, along the direction you're traveling, then it's pretty easy. Uh, and so yeah, the distance is 55 meters and her velocity in that direction is 0.6. So you would just divide 55 divided by 0.6, 91.667. So about 92 meters per second, or sorry, 92 seconds since we're dealing with time. So it's going to be about 92 seconds is the amount of time it takes her to travel across the other side. Um, and yeah, so now that we know that, it makes A solving a lot easier. So A is how far from her starting point here is uh, will she land? So basically what this delta x is. And so we're going to again use the same exact formula, distance equals velocity times time. But instead of looking at it along this way, we're going to look at it along this way. So uh, the distance she's going to travel is what we're trying to find, right? We're trying to find the, her distance she travels in this x here in uh, the amount of time it takes her to reach the other side. And luckily, we found how, what time that is, right? So we know the distance is whatever the velocity is multiplied by the time, which is 92 seconds. She's going to be traveling uh, or being pushed by the river in this x for 92 seconds. Why is that? Because that's the amount of time she spends in the river from one side to the other. So we have the 92 seconds uh, for the time, and then what's her velocity in this direction? So notice the 0.6 uh, isn't impacting her in this way. It's only the river uh, current, right? So just like the, in the first part, this 0.5 actually didn't matter. It was only this way because they're acting straight and not like at an angle. So it's really just going to be 92 times 0.5, and you can just imagine, she travels 92 seconds, right, this way, for at 0.5 meters per second, and then she'll run some distance x, which is how far she moves. So just recognizing that they're two separate things is uh, the key to this problem. So velocity is 0.5, uh, and then you just perform that, and you'll get 45.833, so about 46. You can round however you'd like. Uh, we're dealing with meters here, so 46 meters, um, 
right? Because you have meters per second times seconds. So are your seconds uh, would cancel. But essentially, from her starting point, she moves 46 meters, and the time it takes her to get to the other side uh, is uh, 92 seconds. So, uh, yeah, so those are going to be your two answers. Or sorry, this is an A. This is B. I did them in the opposite order. Um, but yeah, so how far downstream? 46 meters. And then how long? 92 seconds. Uh, but yeah, so those are going to be your answers. And hopefully you found this video useful.